it's me, Prady P. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm kind of gross and sweaty and disgusting because I was helping my mom with something after work today, but I still wanted to film a video because I got the most amazing roll of this fantastic EVA foam that I'm going to be able to use for so many projects. This is from TNT Cosplay Supply and I bought two sheets and they are two feet by five feet. I bought two sheets of 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, six millimeter and four millimeter EVA foam. I'm really excited for all of the different things I can use this for. So I'm wanting to start out kind of small and just practice with EVA foam before I start a huge project and end up wasting a lot of what I just purchased. So one of the things I did with the 4x4 squares of EVA foam that TNT Cosplay Supply sent me is I am just updating my steampunk Ruby Rose costume that I wore last year to the steampunk festival here in town. This is the crest that Ruby kind of wears. It's her symbol and it's pinned to her hood that she wears. And basically this one, I just sort of, I don't know, flew by the seat of my pants and just had a piece of felt that I sewed to the hood a two millimeter piece of craft foam as well as some fabric paint and some steampunk metal gears that I got from Amazon. And while I think this looks pretty cool, I am wanting to kind of refine the costume, bring it all together, make it all look like it's coordinated. So I experimented with the little scraps of foam that I had and I made this. Now to make this pin, what I did was use some of the samples that I got of the EVA foam. I used an eight millimeter piece, six millimeter piece, and four millimeter piece, and just found an image of Ruby's Rose on the internet and kind of traced it out on the EVA foam with a Sharpie. Then I glued all the pieces together with hot glue and let that sit for a while. So once I had all of my pieces attached with hot glue, I attached a safety pin to the back of this so I can pin it to my hood. Then I covered this whole surface with some craft bond to kind of prime the EVA foam and make it a smooth surface for painting. Now something that's really handy whenever you're drying stuff and you don't want it to stick to your desk or get a bunch of paint all over your workspace. One thing that I found really handy were these little bitty containers that you can put your paint in or glue in. They also make a really nice kind of stand to sit stuff on and dry like tiny things like this so that you're not struggling to pick them up and peel them off of the desk. And I found these at Dollar Tree. I think there were 10 in a package for a dollar. So super handy. <laughs> so after I let my primer or my glue dry onto this, creating a smooth surface, I used this awesome just metallic sterling silver paint that I found at Walmart. It actually was the perfect color. It only took two coats and it went on really smoothly. And something I like for foam and kind of getting a smooth finish with your painting are these synthetic brushes that also came from Walmart, I believe. I'm sure there are definitely better ways to paint different details onto things, but these really worked well. So I would highly recommend them. So just some finishing touches. I wanted this to have like a really dimensional feel to it and look like a 3D hunk of metal that was carved out to look like an awesome symbol. So what I did was I used this black paint pen that I found at Walmart. It was like two bucks, I believe, and just kind of took the tip of it into each of the little grooves on my flower here 
And then I added some to the outsides and just sort of wiped it away or kept my lines really thin. Then to finish weathering, I just used some Ceramicoat dark brown acrylic paint. It went on really well. I probably should have mixed it with water to give it kind of a rusty look. But basically, I just kind of dabbed some of the paint onto this with a old wash rag and then kind of scraped it off or wiped it off so it kind of looks like maybe it got rusty maybe it's blood from all of the ferocious grim ruby's been fighting but that added the finishing touches to this and i kind of like it it's my first eva foam project that i've ever done i think it'll make an awesome addition to my costume this year and I am just really excited to dive into EVA foam and learn more about making things with it. Well, that about does it for this video. Um, I've just been trying to make little adjustments here and there to my videos to kind of hopefully improve the quality. I'm hoping soon to be able to have time to just start filming more. My goal would be in a dream world, in a perfect world, to be putting out one video a week. That might not be super likely right now, but I will work with what I have. I am so excited about this giant roll of EVA foam. I have also got a light now, so maybe the picture quality is a little bit better. I'm still learning with all of this, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment down below about something. Just tell me something that you've always wanted to know about cosplay or about different fandoms in general. And I would love to do a video and talk with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.